The Trackit T4A is the lightest, smallest, and most energy-efficient ambulatory EEG amplifier from Lifelines Neuro. It can be used with Trackit V and Trackit F EEG systems. The T4A is supplied with two rechargeable lithium-ion battery packs, enabling users to save thousands of dollars per year compared with the lithium or alkaline batteries in the Trackit Mark III and other ambulatory EEG devices on the market. However, battery charging management and using multi-bay chargers is ideal to ensure the highest performance, as well as performing the maximum number of studies for workflow efficiency. The T4A uses two rechargeable lithium-ion battery packs supplied from Lifelines Neuro. It can use one or two battery packs at a time. Both T4A battery packs must be fully charged in the battery chargers provided by Lifelines prior to any study recording. The batteries can be charged in a single bay or four bay charger. A four bay charger enables the user to always have fully charged batteries available for the next patient to increase efficiency. The only way to charge them is to use the battery chargers provided by Lifelines. Recharging one of the lithium-ion battery packs using the supplied single bay charger will take approximately three hours. The multi-bay battery charger is capable of charging up to four battery packs simultaneously. Four battery packs will take a combined total of six hours to fully charge. Plugging the T4A in via the USB cable will not charge the battery packs. However, it will extend the battery life as the T4A is powered via the USB cable while it's connected. The T4A has an inaccessible internal battery that charges via the rechargeable battery packs or when connected via the USB cable. This internal battery is intended only to provide power during battery changes. Batteries must be at full charge when inserted into the T4A. If using two, both must be fully charged. Open the battery compartment by depressing the battery release button using the provided tool or pen tip. Ensure the battery door is facing up so the batteries don't fall out. Insert the rechargeable T4A lithium-ion battery packs. Once the door is closed, the display will show the capacity of each battery pack. Each battery pack will typically provide 36 hours of recording per battery. Dual and PC recordings may shorten battery life. Ambulatory EEG battery life is at least 72 hours using just the two rechargeable batteries. For dual recording mode, our latest firmware has extended the dual recording time to 67 to 73 hours. Dual recording is essential for intermittent monitoring to comply with the new CPT coding. The duration of both ambulatory and dual recordings can be more than doubled by using the rechargeable external power bank. For studies lasting 72 hours or longer in dual recording mode, it is recommended to use the T4A external power bank. This consists of the external power bank, the external power bank cable, and a new, larger pouch that will hold both the T4A and external power bank. The external power bank will provide an additional 100 hours of recording for an ambulatory recording and 85 hours for a dual recording. When connected, the T4A will utilize the power first from the external power bank then use the power from the inserted T4A batteries. Ensure the external power bank is fully charged with a standard USB charger. This charger is not supplied by Lifelines Neuro. The power bank is fully charged when all four LEDs are illuminated. Connect the external power bank to the T4A using the external power bank cable. Use the USB connection marked 1 amp. The power bank will turn on automatically when the T4A is on. If it doesn't turn on automatically, press the button on the side of the power bank. Tuck the external power bank behind the T4A. Place the external power bank and T4A inside the pouch. 
electrodes can be plugged in before or after placing the T4A in the pouch. Most find it easier to plug them in before. The combined battery life of the two inserted batteries is displayed in the T4A window. If the batteries are below 5%, you must either plug in the Trackit T4A USB to amplifier cable to provide power or replace the T4A batteries. What if the T4A battery depletes and the study stops recording? The T4A is engineered to correctly shut down if the batteries totally deplete prior to the study being stopped. If the study didn't cover the required amount of recording time, a new study will be required. In this case, remove the card data before starting another study. What if the two batteries do not have the same charge when starting the study? The batteries are designed to deplete at the same rate. If one battery has more charge than the other, then the T4A will use the battery with the higher charge until the batteries are the same charge. At that point, the two batteries will deplete at the same rate. How is battery capacity value determined when using two battery packs? If two batteries are inserted, the displayed battery capacity shown on the T4A is the average capacity of the two batteries. If one battery is inserted, the T4A display shows the capacity of the fitted battery. Can I buy other brands of batteries to work with the T4A? No, the T4A battery packs meet strict safety requirements. There is a risk of buying inferior quality batteries which will put patient safety at risk.